just before they enter a slaughterhouse. They don't know where they're going. It's, it's, it's so heartbreaking in, in seeing these animals in these conditions. But at the same time, it's empowering to know that, um, you know, I can, I am doing my best to make an impact for them and, and to do this alongside other animal advocates and groups who are doing really great work of amplifying content around these animals and, and telling their stories and getting people to think about animals differently. It's really, um, you know, in that way, it's very beautiful. Um, and it's also provides a really great opportunity to uh, get a bunch of content and that content then I can use on my social media channels and tell these animal stories myself and to tell people about how they, they impact me. And for example, uh, around five or six years ago, I was at a uh, pig vigil, uh, a vigil outside of a slaughterhouse, a uh, pig slaughterhouse in downtown Los Angeles. The slaughterhouse is called Farmer John Slaughterhouse. And you should have seen this place. There are paintings all over the murals, all over the sides of the walls of happy animals, smiling pigs with big smiles on their faces. And I saw these pigs as they were entering the slaughterhouse. And I will tell you that there were no smiles to be had. And so um, outside of the slaughterhouse, I interacted with these pigs in their final moments. And uh, I, I interacted with this one pig named Terry. And I, I named him Terry after just our one minute interaction because he had, he made such an impact on me. And I got video of him basically making eye contact with me and the camera. And I posted this video on my Instagram account uh, a couple of months ago of me making eye contact with Terry. And you will see him just staring at the camera. You can see the fear in his eyes, the confusion, the sadness, the terror. And those were his final moments before entering a slaughterhouse. And that video went viral on Instagram and now has 1.4 million views of, uh, of that video. And I know that that will make, of course, it's too late for Terry, but it's not too late for the many other animal advocates or for the many other animals who will be spared a lifetime of suffering as a result of people being inspired by seeing Terry and seeing and hearing his story.